Hey everybody, welcome back to Eileen's Craft Nook. Today we are doing a paper towel holder. I have these molds um, that I picked up from Amazon. It came in as a set of two, and these are six inch um, silicone molds. They're meant for uh, baking, uh, but it's silicone, so it works fine. I did at, start with a little, a thin base layer of blue to put the paper towel holder on top. I didn't want to put it directly on the bottom of the mold because I didn't want those, you know, the silver metal to be showing through on the bottom. So I'm just cleaning this off with the isopropyl alcohol, uh, you know, just in case. You don't want anything that's on this to negatively um, impact your resin so it's always a good idea to um, give it a clean if you're adding anything to your resin to clean it with some isopropyl before you add it or add resin to it so you can see this um, this one is six inches the paper towel holder is also six inches so it just it fits in there perfectly um, I think this makes it less heavy so you know you can go with a seven inch if you want it to show up more on the sides but I thought this six inch was nice now, for my colors, I have these uh, opaque dyes. I picked up from Walmart, I believe it was. They're opaque dyes. I'm also going to use some sand that came from Dollar Tree. Um, so mixing up the sand. You want your sand to be fairly thick. I um, That was one thing I did when I, when I was doing this, that I just found my sand wasn't thick enough. Uh, I should Next time I would do it thicker. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the um, blue... And the other color, the lighter color I'm using is jade. I'm uh, what I end up doing is I um, use part of this blue, and then um, to have a darker color for the deepest part of the ocean, I actually just mixed a little black to the blue to uh, to darken it up a bit. Now I I am new to doing uh, like beach uh, resin waves. Uh, in the past, I've only done some jewelry pieces, some keychains. I've not um, worked on anything um, this large. Not that this is large, but it's large larger piece than I worked on before. So I'm one of you know I'm just kind of seeing what uh, works, what doesn't. Um, I have watched a few um, creators do the um, ocean scenes to see you know what technique they use the colors they use you know I, I do know that the waves tend to be the most difficult piece of it uh, so here we are I'm going to add my sand and my colors in here and this is where you know I noticed that my sand is spreading too much it wasn't thick enough uh, and it, I mean it's okay if it spreads I mean it, it's uh I don't care if there's sand under the water it's sand under the water anyways but um, you know, next time I would just make it thicker so it's not spreading that quickly. And I do want to cover in my first layer here, I do want to cover up those bars. So you'll notice that I do come back in and um, I end up adding more resin because I hadn't made enough to cover those bars initially. Here I'm adding a little bit of the Let's Resin black dye to the blue just to darken up this bit to um, have a little bit darker color across the top there and then that's when I go in and add some more resin. Uh, so I figured this was a, you know because my materials aren't costing me a whole lot. Uh, I'm not using a whole ton of resin for this. This is a great way to practice um, on a little bit larger scale because uh, I do have some wooden pieces from Walmart or not Walmart from Michaels that I'd love to do some beach um, themes on but I, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm good at it before before I, you know, start working on the more expensive wooden pieces. So I think this is a great way to practice. Uh, any, you know, after you guys um, watch my technique here and see some of the fails that I have by the end, uh, any hints or tips that you can add, uh, appreciate that. Um, and, you know, if you're new to oceans as I am, then, you know, you can learn with me as we uh as we go because this won't be the last one i'm trying out so you can see here my sand has completely disappeared but i am going to add some more and uh, then i'm going to take my heat gun to this and and uh, kind of blend those colors a bit but you know at the same time the heat gun gets bubbles out as well so here i'm adding some more sand it again it's still too thin i should have um I should have made it thicker. So just, you know, take a note for the next time I'm doing a beach. Uh, make the sand a bit thicker so it doesn't get covered in the resin. 
So here I'm just, you know, kind of like seeing about getting these mixed up a bit better. So I take my heat gun. Uh, the difficulty with this, with this heat gun was it, uh, you can't come at it from the side. You kind of have to, <laughs> you're coming in from the top. Um, and you're normally, if you want to meld, I'd be coming in from the side, but because of the way the mold is shaped and you're, you're kind of coming, to, it's in the mold, it made it a little bit more difficult. But we got through, you can see again, my beach is disappearing. I am going to put a second layer on here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I had those bars covered up, which for the most part they are. Um, I thought, well, okay, maybe I'll add some uh, rock to the beach. And then I added one rock and as soon as I put it in there, it just it disappeared under the resin. So uh, what I did, I have these um, shell pieces I picked up from Michael's. Uh, they're really pretty. Uh, got them on sale. Uh, I'm going to put a layer of those down in and then I'll put a couple of the rocks on top of those. You know, in the very end, when you see, you know, you get to the end of this video, you'll see that my entire beach disappeared anyways, and all I had was water and waves. But <laughs> again, this is something, you know, kind of practice and learn as we go. Uh, but at least I put those rocks in there, thank right, goodness, because the they layer did is stay. Dry. You can see those uh, in the So you can piece. see. So, I do like how those um, colors really kind of like intermixed this. with the dark coming in down into the lighter color. Um, but now we're going to add our waves. So I've mixed up some white and some clear. I am using um, titanium white from Just Resin. Uh, I've uh, had this for a while. It is a nice um, bright white if you're looking for a white pigment. Um, it is nice for that. And I've uh, seen a few creators use it uh, and said it's good for waves. So let's hope. And you can see my bottle is well used here. Uh, that's one thing about these pastes, because you need to mix them. Uh, always mix them before you use them. And they just kind of get all over, I find. So let's add, I'm just going to add the white right here along the edge of the rocks. And then I'm going to grab my heat gun and see if we can make some waves. So... I'm trying to apply the heat and push it out, but again, because you can't get your heat gun in there to do a, you know, push it from the side, it's more difficult. I do have, ooh, oh, smoke. <laughs> heat gun might be a little warm there. When I do my second layer of waves, my second uh, row of waves, I actually turn the heat gun down, so it's not quite so warm. Um, but it just uh, was having a little difficulty here, as you can see. That one wave on the, the one side was just pushing out wasn't really looking kind of wavy. So I tried to push it back in a bit. Um, I do like some of the sale, cells I was getting as it pushed out. Um, and I wasn't sure if I added some heat here, if it bring out more cells, it didn't. But, um, you know, here's my first layer. And then I'm gonna add a second layer of um, waves across the top. So I'm just gonna add some clear and then add the white to the edge of the clear uh, for a second layer of waves or second wave. And uh, again, take the heat gun and apply it. Uh, you'll see that my waves actually just all ran into big, it become one wave. Uh, but I did plan on doing a second, a second coat on here anyways. So, you know, it's gonna change It'll change what it looks like when we get to the second coat. So I'm just, I had turned the heat down a bit. Uh, it was a little too hot in that first one. Here I'm trying to push it out. Um, I'm not sure if this gun, it's not really, it gets hot, but it doesn't blow really strong. Okay, so our second layer, our, our layer waves is now dry. So you can see, you know, I mean, it look, doesn't look too bad. I could probably leave it like this. Um, you know, it's not the best waves beach scene, <laughs> but it's not horrible. So, um, but you know what? I decided I was going to add that second layer. So uh, I mixed up more of my colors. I have my dark, my medium, and my light. And I'm just adding this jade color in. And um, you'll see when I get going in here, I actually had to, um, I didn't, hadn't made, I had made enough resin, but I hadn't made enough of my colors. So I added it and um, ended up adding, mixing more of each of the colors and 
and adding it in so to uh, to fill up the mold. And just blending this a bit. I didn't add as much pigment to this because I do want to be able to see those that first layer waves underneath the water. So, I mean, you won't see it underneath the dark color, but I did want to see it under the um, blue and the jade color um, because that's kind of purpose of doing the second layer. So you can see that first layer waves underneath the water and um, then add your next layer waves. Or in this case also maybe kind of fix some of the mistakes you made. I don't really like how the waves were in between those bars. And I think that's more, um, not because of something I did. I think it's the shape of the mold and the fact that those bars are coming up from the middle. The 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 resin seemed to kind of, I don't know, repel from it. Repel, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, you know, it didn't, they didn't seem to want to go up around those, in between those two bars. Okay, so once again, I'm going to use my heat gun and I just want to kind of blend these colors a bit. I'm going to try my smaller heat gun this time just because it, it's a little easier to fit in this mold, but um, it's definitely stronger. It only has the one setting to it, so, um, you know, I can't adjust the heat, nor can I adjust the the um, the strength of how, how it's blowing. So it's not as uh, adjustable as my other heat gun, uh, but it is smaller. So uh, I do like how this looks. So I can still see those waves, that first layer of waves under here, uh, under both colors. Um, but you know, you can see here, I lost my beach for the most part. I'm losing my beach, but I'm gonna add the clear in here. So the first layer, I did my waves after the colors had dried. This time, I'm going to try the waves while the other colors are still wet. What I did was add um, a clear coat in here, and then I added the white to the edge of the clear. Once again, I'm going to come in with my smaller heat gun and use that to make the waves. So I'm just heating up the resin, and then I'm attempting to push it out and then let it come back in to hopefully, you know, create some of those cells and kind of look, maybe look like it's foamy around those rocks. So I'm adding a little bit more where it, where it didn't look like there was quite enough. And I'm just going to do it the same way. Heat it and then push it out. Now, I know this looks like I'm moving too fast. This is this video is sped up um, to two times, uh, just for time's sake. So I'm not actually moving as fast as what it looks like here. You can see my little dog down beside me. <laughs> didn't realize, didn't realize till I was watching this video back that you guys could see her down there. Okay, so I took my um, torch, see if it would bring out any cells. Again, it didn't, but you can see some of the cells in there. Now, I did want a second layer waves like I did the first time up where that dark meets the medium color. So I'm going to add the clear in, uh, add a layer of clear as I did the first time in there. And then I'm just going to put my white across that and go back in and hit it with the heat gun like we did the first time. Now, I thought I could do a half wave, but it didn't really turn out. So I do end up going back and adding the white all the way across. So again, heating it up and then just trying to push it out. So because I didn't let the dry, you can let it dry. You can see that blue's coming in, but I, I kind of like that because again, what it looks like is, you know, maybe the wave is partly under the water. Um, so I'm okay with the color coming up into it. Not sure if that's something you would normally do, but um, I do like how the top wave turned out um, with this one. And I still like that I can see those that first layer waves underneath the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry and um, then we'll be back to um, finish this off and see what the final product looks like. We'll see you then. Okay, so our beach is um, ready to be unmolded. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you more 
of the close-up. So I had mentioned before that um, I haven't done a lot of these. So this is a learning experience for me as well. And uh, I will do some things differently the next time I try a beach. So it needs a little bit of trimming, uh, which is normal because I didn't fill the mold right up. But here it is. So I can't hold it right up to the camera because this hits the, the camera thing. But let me get the light out of the way here. So um, I like it. I lost my entire beach. <laughs> the only thing that you can see are the couple of rocks that are sticking up. But you can see I had a, I did have a beach in here <laughs> with some stones. Those disappeared. Um, so I would know from next time, you know, um, when I'm adding, if I'm doing to do a second layer. Uh, the other thing is... Um, but you know what? I do like it. I could do better with the waves, uh, but I think that takes practice. Um, I do. I do really like this. So let me show you. I can put my paper towel on there, just like that. I think it turned out really nice. And I had a thought. I had with my extra resin. I had poured this little turtle keychain, which definitely needs some cleaning up but I might put glue him on here so when the paper towels on like this this kind of sticks out let me show you guys kind of sticks out like that I thought that would be pretty cute I'd have to remove the keychain piece which I can cut right off so I just thought that'd be a nice little I had this one I also have a bigger one I thought this one might be this is a bigger one I had done that might be well that might be cute too because it kind of holds the paper towel in I would have to glue it on there let me clean it up and we'll try all right I put the large turtle on I love this it matches so nicely sorry guys there's a shadow but you have the beach themed um paper towel rack um, and that turtle on the front so when we take our paper towel stick it on there look how nice that is gorgeous all right so let me know what you think i am very pleased with how this turned out i think the um extra piece on it is just you know just sets it off perfectly. All right. Thanks for joining me guys. See you in the next one. Bye.